So I loaded a video to YouTube yesterday and found out I was wrong. But I'm really happy about it, and you're gonna be too. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. Hope everybody's having a great week. I'm gonna start out with, I made a video and posted it yesterday and I was wrong, but that's actually a good thing and you're gonna be happy to hear about it too. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials, you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload a couple times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments, and I'll reply to all the early commenters. All right, so let's jump right into it. I posted a video yesterday working on a Husqvarna 54-inch cut deck that was my neighbor's. He hit something and broke the center, center spindle out of it. So I thought it was just going to be a simple spindle replacement, sharpen some blades, but it ended up being a little bit more once I got into it when I realized that the spindle on the right side of the deck had also had a mushroomed out star on the bottom of it to where the new blade would not go on and that he ended up having to have new blades because his other blades were shot. If you missed that video, I will leave a link right up here, but I will also leave a link in the description box below so you can watch it after this video if you want because you're not going to want to miss this news. So while I was tearing it apart, I noticed something a little crazy, but I was ignorant to why it was and I wanted to investigate it a little farther before I talk to you all about it because I had not seen this before and you probably haven't either. So now the shop gets in over 2,000 pieces of equipment every year and hundreds of those are riders. So over the last 11, 12 years, we've seen thousands of riders. We have seen many Husqvarna's and Craftsman mowers, which are both made by American Yard Products. We have seen tons of spindles. I have sold thousands of them, okay? Like thousands of spindles I've sold. Now the thing is, I've sold shafts, I've sold bearings, I've sold housings, I've sold complete, you know, spindle assembly assemblies. I know what the parts are in them. There has been plenty of videos out there talking about how they have sealed bearings with these fake Zerk fittings. And that's, you know, I, I really never addressed it much because there were so many videos out there, people telling you, you know, some people like to tear them apart and take the, the side out of the bearing so that if you do put grease in there, they do actually get some grease. But I gotta tell you guys, Y'all threw a pebble into the ocean and started a tidal wave. I think this has everything to do with those past videos being put out, everybody commenting on them, making everybody aware, people actually, you know, keeping on with it, saying it over and over again. The comment section is always full of these comments saying, you know, about these bearings and stuff like that. So everybody knows about this. So much so, everybody kept it going for so long that corporate changed the design. So why am I just finding out about this? That's because I'm not a Husqvarna dealer. I am not a craftsman dealer. I do not have a way to get emails from corporate about updates or get to go to technical schools for these brands. I pretty much just see them a couple years after they've been out, when they start breaking, and that's when I start noticing things. So these spindles that I'm fixing to show you have been out for at least two to three years, and you might own one. Now in the past, they've had the same spindle, which looks just like this one right here, okay? This is what we've seen for, I don't know, 10, 15 years before that, they had a three bolt design on them, but these have been the same exact spindle forever. They have the fake Zerk on top, which they started a little while back before they had, they didn't have a Zerk. You might've saw a Zerk in the side, but eventually everybody found out when you broke these open, the bearings were sealed. You can put as much grease as you want in there. Yeah, it's still going to help a little bit, but it's not getting to the balls in the bearing. So I'm going to take this one apart. This is one of the older ones to show you exactly what's inside. All right, first, since I'm going to be beating it out, I'm going to go ahead and remove the Zerk out of it. And like I did with the last one. All right, here's what we got in this thing. Okay, so. The bottom bearing did not come out whenever I took the shaft out, which usually it does. Usually it's stuck like Chuck right here and uh, very hard to get off, but I did have to beat it out. So I can show you that these are sealed 
completely sealed bearings, both sides. They've always been like that. And then on the top bearing, it's always been a flat surface and you would have to apply a spacer before you put your pulley on. So then yesterday happens and I go to beat out the shaft from my neighbor's spindle and realize that once I get it out, this spacer thing is in this bearing. It is part of it. It is the center race of this bearing and it is blown out. And also at the same time, when I'm taking it apart, the top of the bearing falls off. So I know it at one time it was a sealed bearing. The other side of the bearing, if you look down inside, it's a sealed bearing down in there. So I'm like, oh, well, you know, that's just junk. They probably started putting spacers on them. That's cool. But, you know, obviously the grease didn't hold up too long. But then when I see the bottom of the shaft, I see that it's open on the top too. And I'm like, that's weird. I, I didn't see any chunks of it in there. I mean, I guess it could have broken apart and, and completely grinded it into nothing inside while it was running, but it was also full of a lot of grease. So I was sort of at a loss because most of the time it's a sealed bearing on the bottom. And I gotta say 90% of the ones that we see at the shop, the bearings are not bad. A lot of people say, oh, you need to grease your bearings. Yes, you do. But the fact is, is the majority, 90% of all the spindles in, that we end up replacing is because it has a broken housing or the star on the bottom of the shaft is blown out. But then again, we live in Arkansas, so we grow rocks here. You might live somewhere where your grass is perfect, you never hit anything, and you will definitely go through bearings before you go through a housing or the star on your shaft. So I can tell you now, there was only factory grease in this. Both of these bearings are gone, okay? <laughs> like, gone. So yeah, they changed the shaft bearing. They sure did. They changed the top bearing, although it's still a sealed bearing on the bottom. They did put a spacer inside of the bearing, so you do not have to worry about putting a spacer before you put your pulley on, because I'm sure, I mean, that we tell everybody we sell a spindle to, to make sure to put the uh, spacer underneath the pulley, because they will destroy the entire spindle the first time they run it if they forget. But that's, that's a little crazy, that they actually listened, made it to where it can be greased. So guys, it's time. It's time to start greasing them. Grease it up. Do it. Do it to it. So I went ahead and I double checked. I made sure that this was correct, that somebody hadn't changed it out. I looked up the model and looked up all the parts. And yes, this is the replacement for it. It is a greasable shaft. I also looked up the new, brand new Husqvarna's that's being sold at the big box stores now. They have the exact same shaft. I looked up some from a year or two ago they have the exact same shaft. So like I said, I don't see the stuff until it starts breaking and that's why I finally know about it, but now you do too and hopefully this will save you some time, money, and frustration in the future. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below if you would like to replace your shaft with a greasable open bearing shaft. Also to that top bearing and the whole spindle assembly. Virtually everything's the same as the old one. It's just better. Ooh, one more thing before I head out. I am finally getting my garage in order. It's been crazy since we had our Camaro in here. We decided to put it on the outside in the back burner, move the vet in here, get everything organized. I am finally set up. I got my stickers up here. Let me show you all my favorite people. So I got plenty of room for some more of my favorite peeps. If y'all want to send me one, just send me an email and I will get you the address. I got my buddy, the mower medic, Jeremy. I got Bruce's shop. Big Dog Dad Law Enforcement Officer. I've got Bald Eagle 242 Mix Mowers, The Mower Man, Eliminator Performance, Big Johns, and The Lawn Mower Lady. Y'all go check all of them out. They got great channels. So thanks again for tuning back into Chicanic. If you haven't found us on Facebook yet, find us at facebook.com slash Chicanic. Find us at Instagram at The Real Chicanic or find us at Chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks and have a great day.